Today I'm going to do a little product review on my new Carlson choke and these dead coyote loads. Uh, I've read a couple different articles with the combination together. They're supposed to be good out to 70 yards. So um, this choke is made by Carlson. It's been specifically designed for coyote loads. And uh, they've also said that they're, they shoot best with these heavy shot dead coyotes. Got that in, shooting an 1187 and I've also heard that three inch are actually more accurate than three and a half inch, which I only have a three inch chamber, so that's what we will be shooting. And we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this test today at 25 yards, 50 yards, and 70. And I want to see what the actual pattern is and uh, how, how tight it is because with these coyotes we've been calling them in 30, 50 yards and it's hard to get on them with the, uh, the rifle. So go ahead and get this in the lead sled and try to take out all other air. Um, got all that. Running four different cameras by myself today. so. Should be good to go. This is 25 yards and uh, let's see what she does. All right. We got the other camera zoomed in up there so. That should show what that looks like at 25 yards. So here is a close up at 50 yards. And as you can see, there is a decent group up here, high and right. I'm guessing that's more me than anything, but overall that should still be a dead coyote. And here we are at 70 yards. And as you can see, there's two right there in the kill zone. And it's a pretty even spread around the outside of that. So I can't say that there's a group high and right like I did at 50. Now that we've seen how the gun performs at those distances, you can definitely tell that you have a dead dog at 25 with a great group. Uh, 50 yards, there was only three in the kill zone. And at 70, there was only two. Uh, I honestly would expect better performance at that range, uh, especially for being $5 a shot and a $50 choke tube. But with having two to three holes in there, I guess if those hit the exact, uh, the exact right vitals, uh, you could definitely have a dead dog. So um, overall, I think I'm comfortable shooting 50 and in with the shotgun. And if it's beyond that, I'll probably just stick with the rifle. But it's a good test. I'm glad I know what my gun does now and I hope this helps you for any future decisions. So uh, let's get out there and kill some more dogs. Good luck.